All right, we are live. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me tonight on this live stream Wednesday night, if you're catching the live. If you're not catching the live stream and you're watching this via the playback, there will be some um, chapters in the video de description below so that you can conveniently find your way through this video. We're talking tonight about bad kitchen trends. And there's been a lot of trends that have come and gone over the years. Tonight, we want to chat about them. And I have a very special guest coming on with me tonight. Uh, Jackie of all trades is going to be here and we are going to talk about go through some of these kitchen trends and just have a blast doing so. So just want to say hi to everyone. If you're coming on, please uh, enter a comment in the chat. Say hi. Tell me where you're watching from. And throughout the course of the live stream, if you have any trends that you are interested in chatting about, want to comment on or bring up, please do so. And we'll try to get through those comments as we go. Um, trends are something that we, uh, is a touchy topic, I guess, because for one, um, everybody likes what they like. I think uh, I like certain things. Other people don't like certain things and who's right, who's wrong. And the thing is, nobody is because we all just like what we like. And in my last video talking about the barn door incident, um, which is just kind of a funny way of saying like, Hey, do what you like, do what you love. It, it really doesn't matter, uh, no matter what someone tells you or what someone else likes. We want to be able to put whatever we like in our homes, and that should be fine. So um, that's kind of the point tonight, is that we're going to talk about some of these bad trends, but I don't want to offend anybody. So if you have any of these trends, or if you like some of these, this is not to say that these are not good, but it's a way for us just to discuss some of the things that some of us think are bad kitchen trends as opposed to maybe you like all of these things. So whether you like these or whether you don't like these, that really doesn't matter. It doesn't make or break you. It just means that you like certain things and other people don't. And let's get into them. I just wanted to say hi to a few people before we do uh, because I see that there are some people watching already and that's great. Uh, Miriam, hi Miriam from uh, Highland Park, cool. And Lori. Yeah, I got out of the storm. We had uh, had quite a nice storm and, and lost power for a little bit, but it's all good. Watch from Georgetown. Cool, Ontario. Nice. And watch from Rochester Mills, north of Detroit. Cool, but it's a little chillier there. It's not that cold here. It's only, I don't know, zero degrees maybe. And uh, hey, Megan, thanks for coming on again tonight and saying hi. Um, we're going to have a little bit of fun. So I am going to... Um, Bring up some of these trends. We're going to chat about these, and in a few minutes, I'm going to bring on bring, bring on Jackie. Last week, um, I mentioned that Jackie was going to come on. Well, I I kind of put her on the spot, and uh, she was a good sport and wanted to come on the live stream and, and chat. So that's what we're going to endeavor to do tonight. Hopefully, the um, the technology works for us, and we can we can make sure it uh, it all works. Terry's watching from Atlanta. Nice. Visited Atlanta once. Uh, sunny and 60. Oh, I wish it was sunny and 60 here, but it isn't. It's cold and rainy and wet and snowy. We have weird winters. Uh, the last few winters have been mostly rain where I'm at, a little bit of snow, a little bit of rain. And, uh, you know, hey, you caught my first live stream, Amy from Southern California. Very cool to have you on. Awesome. Lori's from California too. Hey, good evening, Lori. Thanks for joining me. That's an awesome cat avatar, or it's probably your cat. Um, cool. Really cool to have you on, everyone. So let's get into some of these trends. And let me just uh, make sure that we didn't lose Jackie along the way here. There I see her. There she is. All right, cool. Jack, I'm going to bring Jackie on right now. We're going to chat. So like I said, we mentioned last week that... Uh, I'd like to have Jackie come on. And, and who's Jackie? Well, I'll let Jackie tell you who she is. But uh, let's bring her on and um, and say hi. Hey, Jackie. Hello. All right. I hope you guys can see me. Yeah, we can see you. The only thing I need to know, hey, Matthew, thanks for joining us, is um, if Jackie is echoing, let me know. And I'll, I'll put on my, uh, my earbuds and just in case it's coming through my microphone. So otherwise, if you... Uh, if you hear Jackie echoing, just uh, let me know in the chat and I'll fix that real cool. So lots of people coming on, Jackie, already. And last week I put you on the spot um, <laughs> for you to come on 
and uh, said, hey, let's let's bring Jackie on, chat about kitchen trends. And um, so, Jackie, why don't you just say hi to everyone, and then uh, then we'll go from there. Hi, everybody. I'm Jackie with Jackie of All Trades, and uh, I'm really happy to be on Mark's channel. I, I fangirl Mark all the time, so I'm always looking for his latest video. And so I'm, I'm glad that he invited me on the show today. So I do have my own channel, Jackie of All Trades. Um, I would tell you how much better than this channel it is, but that would really kind of be a lie. But um, <laughs> I uh, really do uh, enjoy Mark, and I think we're going to have a really good discussion today. So I do come to you guys from the Washington, D.C. metro area. We call it the DMV. That's for D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. So I'm uh, just outside the Beltway in Fairfax, Virginia. So hello, everybody, and thanks for having me. Cool. Thanks, Jackie, so much. So this is fun. Um all right, we have lots of people coming on, lots of people saying hi, lots of people saying hi to Jackie. I don't know, Jackie, you can't see the comments, can you, Jackie? Yeah, uh, Jeff Chapman, oh, you Taylor. Cool. Yep, I see you guys. Right. Hey. Awesome. So it's, it's, um, this is fun. This is what it's all about. I like just the, the, the community aspect of, uh, what, you know, YouTube or, or this kind of social media endeavor allows us to do meet people that we've, you know, would otherwise probably never meet and right. be able just to, to chat and, and, you know, it's really cool. It's, I really appreciate it. So, um, we're going to, uh, we're going to dive into some of these trends. I, I reached out to Jackie and asked her, we wanted to come on and she was more than willing to come on and just, just chat with us. Um, and I asked her for a list of some kitchen trends that she would consider as, as bad. And again, I, I, I say bad very loosely because some of you might have all these and love all these, and some of you might dislike all of these. So it's not about whether or not, you know, not to shame anyone, not to say if you have any of these trends, because even Jackie and I disagree on a few of them. Um, and that's the whole point is just to you know, have a conversation. And it's something, at least trends are something we can all chat about and have an input about. So, you know, it's, it's a pretty good topic to, uh, to, to chat about. And, uh, and sometimes you get different opinions that you never thought about or different ways of seeing things. And, uh, and that's always good as well. So um, say hi from, to Mark. Hey, Mark, you're, you're from Nova Scotia. Cool. That is really cool. Hi, uh, Darlene's on. What's she saying? Press the like button. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Press that like button. I know from last week, a lot of you uh, went over to Jackie's channel as well. Um, and, and, um, and, and her. so that's, that's cool. And that's, that's what it's all about. Just building the community. And, and um, there's, there's lots of people out here on YouTube and, um, and it's great when we can help each other out and, 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 you know, just, just go from there. So really cool. So make sure if you haven't checked out Jackie's channel, go check her out, say hi, comment on a video, like her video and subscribe all, all that YouTube things. Sanjiv's on. Hey, Sanjiv, nice to see that you're on. Very cool. Um, all right, let's go to, let's go to the first one of these. This is one that has come up, um, not a whole lot recently, but these are, these are items that people put in their kitchens quite frequently um, I even bought one one time, um, and, and they, they mount underneath your cabinet. So instead of over the, over the range of microwaves, these are under the counter radios. And I guess now they're more like you can get under the counter, flip down televisions and under the counter, you know, iPod connecting stations and just these under the counter things that, um, you know, quite frankly, I, I just, I don't think they look that great. I'm going to bring up a few of these and we'll chat about them. Let me know if you've um, if you've been, if you've ever had one of these or, or bought one of these. The, this one in particular is really pretty because of the um, this, the cabinet that it's attached to. It looks gorgeous. Um, <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, Jackie? What's your opinion on on these babies? Well, I've seen them, and this particular one, I don't know why. Looking at it, it reminds me like a UFO or something like that. It's kind of floating in Neverland, right? I I just I mean. These days, I know they make them for like iPad docking and all of that stuff too. But I mean, I, I don't know. Like, for instance, I've seen one that I could get into, like that's an alternative to this, is they've got this little drawer thing now that slides under the cabinet and you can pull it out and prop your iPad on top of it. And then when you're finished, you can slide it back in. That seems like a, a better use than 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 having something like this is just no. <laughs> yeah. These are uh these had their their day, I think. I, I think it's safe to say that, though they still sell these, you can still buy them at Radio Shack or Best Buy or wherever you buy your electronics. But uh, I, again, they're they just look they just look a little out of place, like they shouldn't be there. You have this, 
you know, nice looking kitchen and this thing just stuck there. And, and the way they, the way they do these marketing pictures, like there's no, you don't see any cords, but you know, there's going to be a cord hanging there. You know, very well, you're going to lose the remote. It's going to be lost in the, in the <laughs> door somewhere or, or missing. And, um, kind of like, I'm sure that gets kind of grimy and hard to clean. So not my favorite thing. What do you people think out there? I, I, um, yeah. How do you clean without messing that messing it right, up? Right, Exactly. Yeah. So it, it gets kind of, uh, and thanks Jeff for mentioning that. Um, so yeah, not my favorite. Here's another pic. Oh, no, let's go back to that one. Only got two of those. Okay. So the under the counter radio, not my favorite trend, but, uh, you know, give a high five in the chat if you have one of these right now. <laughs> we won't, I won't publicly shame you. Um, and if you like that, that's cool. I, I think it's just this. This was in the era. This became popular in the era when we we're trying to get more tech into the kitchen. And before there were like smart anything. And so now there's really not much of a need for having anything like this. Like my fridge does 300 times more what this thing can do. And, and that's over the top, you know, maybe that's another thing for another day to talk about, but yeah, these, these had their heyday. And uh, so I think we'll move on. I, I see a whole bunch of big nose, uh, not a fan. Yeah. Yeah. I know with a, with a face plant palm fl plant. So, <laughs> but now this, this uh, drawer thing, I, I don't, I'm not familiar with the drawer. Uh, yeah, it's like or, a little, it's almost like a cutting board type thing and it slides in and out, you know, and cool. then you can like prop your iPad on top of it, you know, and like prop it against the, you know, the cabinet in front of it, you know, and then slide it back. But I mean, yeah. I think all of that is, is too much. You can just Bluetooth, you know, from your iPhone to like some yeah. wireless speakers you have somewhere, you know, and, and you don't have to listen to the radio and to commercials i mean we're we're past this at this point yeah, yeah. it's obe right it, it's done it's yeah. had it had its day it, it was a good idea i think the idea was good i don't think the application uh matched up to to what it was uh, supposed to be but pretty neat <laughs> yeah sanjiv says it's an eyesore and uh and i agree however if you have one of these currently and i know someone <laughs> who does this is not to say that you know anything we're just chatting. We're just talking. Doesn't mean anything. Uh, Miriam saying she had one in her house. Uh, yeah, 20 years ago. And that's the thing. But they're still around. They're still being sold. So, you know. All right. All right. Let's move on to the next one. That was a no-go. The next one was these. Now, I sold these in kitchens for a long time. This was a high-end item in a kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, Jackie, when I would, when I would sell kitchens, this, this was a premium upgrade. Um, only the, the most affluent of clients would buy these. I don't mean the wine rack. I mean, these standard <laughs> doors. What's your thoughts on these, Jackie? Oh, well, I guess the elite might want them. I mean, they, they do have like this cathedral-esque like vibe to them, you know, mm -hmm. kind of regal, kind of royal, whatever. Um, but yeah, their day has come and gone. Yeah. And uh, I personally, about the stained glass, I'm agnostic. I wouldn't have it in my kitchen. I don't have a strong aversion to them. But yeah, I, I think it does uh, instantly date your kitchen if you walk in now and see, see that. Yep. Yeah. Those are those are interesting. Those aren't base cabinets. It's not something you see a whole lot of. This, this is what I'm talking about. This was... And, and in particular, we did a lot of these in corner wall cabinets, just like this. Uh -huh. it, it was such a thing. If 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 you if you got this, um, you you were something. And uh, and now, I mean, and those doors were very expensive. To do a stained glass door is is quite uh, is quite expensive. They had their time. It was short lived, but it's a trend that I'm glad to see really kind of go. You don't you don't normally see this kind of thing anymore. In fact, you can. More you can go online and you can buy stained glass doors. It's unbelievable the amount of stained glass doors you can buy from people who are, are selling them off uh, from their kitchens. And that's not to say that some of them can't look nice or, or be designed, you know, nice. Or if you have one that it's you know, it, it doesn't look cool. I just I just think I don't think they're um, there's something I would want to put in my kitchen either. Again, if you have one in your kitchen, good for you. But uh, someone here's uh, 
Frank Lloyd Wright glass. Yeah. There you go. Looks, that looks very, yeah, mission-esque. So, you know, kind of has, like, I think you, you just said, like, you know, that cathedral look. Um, yeah, I'm just looking for Mary and, 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 you know, and the baby Jesus, you know, to come out, you know, and peek yeah. through the glass. This one looks kind of, I don't know, St. Patrick's Day themed. <laughs> but that's all good. Interesting, though. I mean, the application is kind of cool and maybe there's a different way to do this. And I think it leads into the other conversation of glass doors in general and the types of glass doors that are more trendy. I know someone mentioned before on a comment, um, not in this live stream, but previously about reeded glass. And I, I've done a lot of not reeded glass, but but different types of, of glass doors that are, are not just clear or smoked. Uh, but glass doors that have, you know, frosted, um, mm -hmm. speckled and, and teardrop and all those kind of things. So, um, you know, there, there's a lot of people wanting to do these, you know, kind of more customized look. They, they they go in certain places in your kitchen. They can be kind of um, something that, uh, you know, to kind of make a cabinet stand out or um, a feature, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And uh, yes, I think uh, here works in a certain craft and style home. So again, like a lot of these things work in certain, in certain, you know, styles and themes of, of cabinets that what you're going for. But uh, like Darlene's coming, I think your style is eclectic, eclectic. Again, we all like what we like. And, and it's not to say that if you have one of these, you're, you have a, a bad kitchen design or a bad trend, but um, not something that I'm super fond of. And, Kind of glad that that's not something we we do a whole lot of anymore. And and who am I to say anything? By the way, this is just my opinion. <laughs> so, all right, let's move on to the next one. Kelly, I did see that you subscribed hey, cool. to my channel. I saw it; it popped up on my screen. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. I can see them working in an English old English manor home. There we go. Yeah. So again, a lot of these things just have their application and, and maybe they'd work in certain situations. Of course, not everyone's going to like these kind of things. That's the whole point of all of these trends is that some of us like them, some of us don't. It's just like my barn door, right, Jackie? I mean, you know. Yeah, and you know, I was kind of like listening to the doors. barn door thing too because I, I upgraded to the barn door about 18 months ago in my uh, master bedroom. And I, I really, I mean, I go in there and it gives me joy when I can close it. Cause it was like this big wide opening with no door and I could figure out how to, I didn't have space to swing one out. And then yeah. when I, the solution came, I mean, it looks so nice to me. It looks, you know, exactly. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I like, I love ours too. I mean, I, I thought it was great, but if, if you go by what everyone else says, you're going to just always be disappointed because everyone's going to say something different. So exactly. Is the stained glass, Kelly, good question. Is the stained glass easy to swap out? Um, yeah, actually the, the panel of the door is pretty easy to swap out. Um, a glass panel in a door like this, this is called a five panel door. So there's the frame, the style and rails and the middle panel is the fifth part of the door. Um, and that glass panel is basically siliconed in. Mm -hmm. You can cut that out and put in any other type of glass or a wood panel that would be difficult in, in this kind of wood because it wouldn't match. But yeah, you could replace them. Um, it wouldn't be very difficult to, to place and to replace and, and that glass door you could sell that, or that piece of glass you could sell. Um, people will buy that. So good, good question. Uh, let's go to the next one. All right. Lattice. Oh, there's another one of those things. All right. Oh, going ahead. I'll go back to those lattice wine racks. You can see the dust on that one. Jackie, what do you think of the lattice wine racks? Um, again, very dated. Uh, I, I've seen them, you know, in like these uh, portable, movable uh, bars. You know, if it's like in one of these bar carts, yeah, that that's acceptable. Or maybe down low somewhere up high, like, you know, right below like a cabinet that's eye level. Um, I don't like that look at all. No. To me, it, it just, it's, yeah, around the way girl next door, the dust, like cleaning this would be a nightmare and it, it will get dusty. And even if you're using it, it's still going to get dusty, especially in the back. Um, now, sometimes they make them so that those lattice pieces can come out 
which would be helpful. But I mean, really, are you going to be taking those out and cleaning them? I mean, I guess some people would, but a lot of the times they're just going to be in there forever and they're never going to come out. And actually, a lot of people don't even know that if they can't come out, that they do come out, uh, which is, you know, so they never take them out anyway. And the stemware holders, this whole look is just really dated with the glass shelf. Um, so again, not something that I like, but I just don't, I don't mind wine racks in a kitchen. Right. I've done a lot of kitchens with, with wine racks and I, I, I like particular kinds and I dislike this particular kind because it, it looks, it kind of looks like my, my veranda outside, you know, the lattice work underneath to, to hide underneath. Um, th this one, especially I, I love because it has the plate rack, which I'm not a fan of either. And it has the whole shebang going there. You know, when I see those, the stemware holder, it reminds me of those. Tea, have you seen the teacup holders that sit up under the, you know, the, the top cabinets, you know, the, the little hooks or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like all these cups lying yeah. up there. Not a fan. Too much upkeep. Yeah. Yeah. And the wine fridge has definitely replaced the wine uh, rack. Yeah. And, and just even like pigeonholed wine racks. Mm -hmm. Um Pigeonhole. <laughs> oh, cool. That's my baby girl. She's getting married on Wednesday. Yeah. She'll be here next week because I'm going to be in my daughter's wedding. We'll let you go for that one. Uh, <laughs> that's another thing. I mean, again, Jackie, thanks again for coming on because when I when I reached out to you, you're like, well, my daughter's getting married in this and this, but I'd be glad to come on. So it's really cool um, that you take the time to, to, to come on and, and chat with us. Really neat. Thanks. Um. Congratulations. Is it Joanne? Yeah, it's yeah. Joanne Estelle. Joanne yeah. Estelle Henderson, soon to be Mrs. Devin Long. I love my son-in-law. <laughs> Are they there with you? No, they're not here, oh, but okay. they're probably going to kill me. <laughs> really cool. Really cool. Yeah, so back to the, the back of the plate rack. Um, too much upkeep. Yeah, people are pretty excited. That's awesome. <laughs> Maybe we should just live stream the wedding. We'll do that next there week. There we go. We'll do that next week. We'll just have everybody at the wedding. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we'd probably be all up for that. You see, Joanne says she's all for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the um, the wine rack. A lot of a lot of the, the this particular one with the plate rack and the stemware and the the shelf and. And that square knob, which I just will talk about the knobs a little bit later, but in particular the square one, this whole look is not for me. So that that is something that definitely is come and gone. I, I definitely don't see what like I've I've been, you know, I design kitchens online. I have an online kitchen design solution. Nobody's asking me for wine, you know, lattice wine rack. Very few people are asking. Actually, nobody's asking for for wine racks of any sort. To be honest, and plate racks, kind of a thing of the past. So these are. These are trends that have come and gone and and I know they have like a functionality part to them. Mm -hmm. Everything's right there, but that doesn't mean they have to look the way they look. They they might, you know, you, you can do it better. Again, that's my opinion, and mm -hmm. I'm just, just saying what I think. But um yeah, the wine the wine cooler under the cabinet. I've seen these. I put in once uh when I was doing this, you know, before my my old job as this really sleek wine fridge. It was only about 12 inches wide, um, had this really cool incandescent blue lighting behind the door. Nice. Looked really, really cool, really rich looking. Um, it was really yeah. nice, modern. <laughs> it was actually gray, just high gloss door. That's when, you know, the gray high gloss was really in, in style. And, you know, it looked really sharp. So if you're going to do it, do it, do it that way. That's the, the best way to do it. Jeff's saying a poor use of space. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I like, agree with Jeff. I, I, I'm going to, that's, 21 by 15 that top section for for five plates six plates maybe <laughs> like yeah i could i could do something else with that it's up high so maybe that's a that's maybe why yeah they say yeah, if i have a client that's asked for that i'll say no that's right but i don't do that that's what nancy reagan said just say no just say no it, yeah. it's like when someone asks for an over-the-range microwave you know what i just say no <laughs> did, you, did you go there See, we'll go there later. <laughs> we'll go there later. <laughs> so we, we agree that the wine racks kind of kind of come and gone, especially the lattice tile. Let's uh, let's hone on the next one. So so like I said, I, I mentioned earlier, I, I, I reached out to Jackie and asked her to send me some of the some, you know, um, trends that she thought were were worth chatting about things that are 
you know, maybe older or, or not so not so nice. And uh, so she had a few good ones, which I agree with almost all of them. And uh, <laughs> I noticed I one didn't make your list. I noticed that. <laughs> Yeah, no, but we will, we will talk about it. Uh, I know everyone knows what it is already. Uh, so let's see, what do I got next on the slide here? Oh yeah, let's talk about that, distressed. I don't have a, yeah, let me just make a banner for that here real quick. Talk, talk to me about what you think of these, Jackie. I just think that it looks like you gave somebody some sandpaper and said, can you ruin the finish on my cabinet, please? And they said, you know, with pleasure. And then you paid them to do that. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Don't do it. Just say no. Just walk away. Like Tomorrow. if you hear the voices, ignore the voices. <laughs> Don't. Please. Just forget. Just forget about it. Yeah. It's like um, I'm not a I'm I'm not opposed to antique, or I'm not I'm not actually opposed to distressed if they're actually distressed. Right. You know, if it's an actual thing that is truly distressed and it's a piece that you know and it fits in your you know your space. But, but like what you said, to go and paint something up, I mean, this would probably look really nice if it wasn't distressed. And of course, some uh, some people love these. And that's why we mentioned earlier, Jack, when we were chatting, um, you're, you're talking about the Rust-Oleum kits you can buy. Right. You know, and they sell those for a reason um, because people buy them. People love this this look and this stuff. So again, though, you know, Home Depot and Lowe's and all these companies, they understand that, that people are going to, going to go for this stuff and they sell those those kits same with the chalkboard paint things and the you know how to make your cabinets look um glazed all those type of, of things so again this was just very interesting this is jeans with brown boots <laughs> i see it you is see that... the jeans the jeans are the blue like the brown boots are the are, are the floor and maybe the, yeah maybe this is like a the green shirt going. Yeah, but you see the collar is is you know the crown molding is the collar top. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The whole, <laughs> the whole thing. This this is a uh, that was funny. So I, I guess Rose, do I need to throw away my brown boots? Is that, is that what we're <laughs> hi Rose? All right. In a weekend cabinet with true distressing in uh, in a weekend cabinet, natural wood. Yeah, well, I think if it's truly a distressed cabinet, you know, that's something that that's different than this, especially if it's older. Here's one here. Um, this one's really, really homemade, -y, you know. No, um, it looks, to me, it looks like you had like natural wood cabinets and mm -hmm. then you dunked them like in a vat of oil and pulled them up. And, you know, the oil's about to drip off and you can just see the wood kind of peeking out again. Yeah. No. Not a good, not a good thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of these. Again, yeah, yeah, those are bananas, Mom. <laughs> I, I don't know why they're hanging there, but that's bananas. That's right. You hang bananas on the side of the cabinet. Who doesn't do that? Again, if if you're watching this and this happens to be your <laughs> thing, you know, we're just we're just having fun, and. Uh, we're just talking. So this this is definitely a look, you know, and again, not not my favorite thing. I think it's a trend that is definitely, uh, yeah, Matthew's saying it looks uh, looks kind of dirty. You know, and if you're into that look, then you're into that look. That's cool. And that's why there's those kits out there. You can do it. And there's there's actually a skill involved in doing it well. You know, like I would say that this is probably done well and this is not so well, um, whether or not you like it or not. But, uh, right. you know, there's a there's a skill involved in doing it correctly. And I, I think that's important. But if if it's like painting your cabinets. If, if you're not skilled at doing that, yes, anyone can do it, but if you're not skilled at it, there, there is a difference. And I think it's mm -hmm. important to, to realize that too. So yeah, Darlene saying it looks tired. It's tired. This looks right. tired. It, it, it's, it's given me the heebie jeebies. So let's move on. Bluebell <laughs> here. Bluebell 1920 says, I hate the juxtaposition of distressed wood and granite. Yeah. And you know, I think that granite, you know, I know those are starting to move. We're starting to move away from those colors as well. But I think that's a beautiful piece of granite. And I, I think it, you know, it's supposed to be the jewelry in the in the kitchen, I think. And, and those cabinets just really take it from classy to like, you know, trashy, I guess. It, it, it goes real low class. Yeah. Just me. That's I like me. that. I like the jewelry. <laughs> yeah. That, that's good. 
Uh, I might steal that for a future video. You can have that. You can have that, you know. Yeah, the Julie, that, 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 and, and you're right. I mean, we are getting away from granite more and more these days, but uh, again, like that does take away from the look of that granite. So mm -hmm. yeah, very good. Very good. If done well, a natural wood in the right house. Yeah. But that's the thing with all these in the right house. And if you like it there, it's all good. Mm -hmm. Again, like my barn door issue. If you like it, go for it. Does It doesn't really matter. Um, but it's fun to talk about. All right, let's look on. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Rose says, I was poor for too long to want to revisit the look of poverty. <laughs> it's not antique. It just looks po. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right, so I think it's safe to say, Jackie, we're not a fan. No. Of this. So let's keep going. What's the next? I, I think I'm going to go back here a little bit. Let me go back. About these right, right here. Let me go one more. All right, I want to talk about this for a second. These are uh, one of the things Jackie had sent to me was uh, open shelves. Uh, I didn't put it on the list. Let me just let me put it on here. These are called end shelves, and for years these had been popular. Um, and in fact, shelves like this have been. I, I put a lot of these in. You know. 15 years ago, this was kind of a hot ticket item, especially next to the window, mm -hmm. um, you know, on either side of your window cabinet. And, and in fact, my, my grand, I think both of my grandmothers had these in their kitchens when I was growing up. I remember ha having seen these and having these and, you know, they keep those little egg cups where you could eat like one hard boiled egg. So I'm not even sure what those were all about, but I used to think they were really cool. Um, they used to keep those on there and, among, you know, other things are salt and pepper shakers or, or maybe a little trinket of some sort. But this is playing into the the open shelf. You know, this was like the, the prelude to the open shelf um, idea. And uh, tell me, tell me, Jackie, what's what's your thought on on this look? Well, much like the general open shelf, I well, I, I think that. Um, they're going to, it's going to be a dust collector and um, you always have to make sure everything is just so because it's like a display case. And for me, that's just too much pressure. Like when you've got a life to live, you've got family, you've got work. I mean, I don't want to have to make sure that everything's lined up just right and all the colors are matched up like here. Uh, no, I wouldn't do it. And egg cups. Yes, Trish. Uh, I remember the last time I saw one of those was 1995. I, I remember the year. <laughs> Really? Yes. I used to think they were so cool. My my grandmother had them. <laughs> and like, I don't know. They were they're just interesting to me. Just just a little egg cup and eat eat your one egg. Right, Rose. You know, the last time I saw one of these curved cabinets that I liked, it, I, it was in a fifties retro home. You know, and they had um, taken their house back, and and of uh, they had it curved on both sides of that of that. Uh, that uh, the the cabinet right by the window. Mm. Yeah, these are open shelving of yesteryear. Yeah, same. So the same issue. Um, place for knickknacks and dust and plants. So again, <laughs> it's, it's still it's still the the thing. Like and and with open shelves, we have our people who are very pro, people who are very against. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of middle ground. But this is again, yeah, the yesteryear, um, the yesteryear open shelf um and you know here's here's the ones here this is a this would be a more modern ish kitchen probably you know maybe maybe 10 years ago yeah. i've seen an item in there that jackie loves um <laughs> but uh, we'll talk about that later i'm not sure what those tiles are they don't they look to be just leaning there they're not, yeah, they're not like they're not installed. all the way up or what are they doing yeah. like yeah just in this one little spot here well they're just leaning there they haven't installed them yet they're trying to decide whether they want to okay. yeah yeah but if you look at the um beautiful over the range microwave you know, you it's, know it's gorgeous but hey, the, girl um, i see you i see you over there <laughs> do your thing don't let them tell you you're less than <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't have to listen to me I, I don't know you know i'm just telling you what i think but those open shelves on the end those were very popular but just again 
my 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 go to now is just make that window wider. Forget about those things because they, they you know you don't need those at all. Just a dust collector. Here's a good point. Herb plants by the window, those shelves are okay. So again, right? If you are not into egg cups, but you're into herbs, this might be something that would work for you. Same as an open shelf, maybe in the right location. So I'm not not like dead against shelving like that. Uh, maybe this I am, but you know, Rose thinks this looks depressing. It's because <laughs> of the it's because of the over the range microwave, uh, Rose. No, it's definitely not that. Rose would never say that's because the over the range microwave. It's not. It's because the, the, the refrigerator is too short. And I don't know if that's supposed to be an island or if it's yeah. supposed to be a peninsula. What is it? It's kind of like floating there. It is floating there. And, you know, the the tile that's not doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a pretty, uh, this kitchen needs a little bit of tender loving care. Right. And, um, it looks like that's a big window that that island is in front of. And, um, oh, and there's no faucet. I don't know if you can tell, but I don't see a faucet in there. Maybe that maybe that's a design trend, you know, the faucet <laughs> from the tank. It could be. You never know. There's all <laughs> kinds of trends. Oh, and is that a, no, it's a base corner cabinet. Yeah. The base corner cabinet. Okay. It must be. That's that, you know, and that's another one of Mark's favorite things. Like, you know, we this is a blind, this is a blind base corner. Um, cabinet. Yeah, you could you could you could get in there. Not not my thing. But if you're going to have a base corner, that's probably the one to have. And as long as you can have some kind of you know accessory, the hose comes through the window. <laughs> you know, Maybe. you save on hardware. That's right. You reach outside and grab the water hose. How come I don't think of these things? It's that's marketable. Yeah. <laughs> you have one of those like little cat doors that you can push it out through. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> no blank on a wood. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I didn't put corner bases on this one because I overdo it sometimes talking about them. I talk about them a lot. And, uh, but yeah, not my, not my favorite. Uh, all right, let's go to the next one. Let's see where we left off here. Lots of comments coming in. It's awesome. This one, let's see here. Let me go to. We got through those, Jackie. Mm -hmm. Oh, there here we go. go. Yeah. Uh, now, this looks modern and looks sleek. Mm -hmm. um, I love the reveal underneath the door to the countertop. That's although some people say it's a little bit of a dust collector. I just love that look. What is it about this, Jackie? I mean, I have it up on there already, but. Well, I just wonder, oh. like, whose hands need to grab this handle? Like, do you need, like, you know, is it the Incredible Hulk who needs to get, like, two fingers in there somehow? That's why you need, like, this. You could fit, like, five hands in there. I don't I don't get the look. I don't understand it. I don't know why people do that. It's just, it's oversized. It's, it's a reason to sell oversized. Yeah. The only way reason people buy it is because folks sell it. And I think we should boycott that. Yeah. I'm not a fan either. Um, I'm not a fan for a, a, two reasons. One, I'm not, like you said, why? But if you're going to replace those someday, you're going to have a hard time finding handles right. to replace those. I see Rose's comment. And, and you got, <laughs> you got, oh, is this what you're calling? Is that the one? Yeah. The bell bottoms of the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, Gammy. They're towel racks. Yeah, just sideways. Yeah, yeah. You have to like somehow flip them, flip them up, and you can you put your towel on there. Uh, Ella's saying, "Could it be for accessibility?" This is not for accessibility because this is a trend. Though I understand your your point. If it is for accessibility, um, you know that would be different. But this is definitely there is this is a trend that we see just these big handles and. Um, and again, if it was for accessibility, fill your boots. That's perfect. But um, <laughs> as a design trend, not my favorite. If it's for accessibility, go right ahead. Um, yeah, sideways. Yeah, looks like sideways towel racks. <laughs> Interesting. That hey, Alan. Going. Hey, Alan. Let us uh, fill us in on your on your cabinet conundrum later on. Oh, your daughter's just saying. You know she why she's doing that to be yeah. contrary. You know you're doing that to be contrary. 
fucked off. <laughs> Don't make your mother uh, upset, especially here on the live stream, please. Yeah, I still have a wedding toast to give, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Overkill on the handles, we see. Okay, let's look at the next picture. Here's another one. Now, this is, again, this is a very nice looking kitchen. I actually really love that wood tone. Uh, it's beautiful. It's got the, looks like a quartzite top, maybe. Yes. Uh, if not quartz. Um, really nice kitchen. And but I love the fact that it's like a white kitchen without being like overkill white. I like it. You've got white, but you've got relief. I love this kitchen. It's yeah. beautiful. Nice paint. Nice. I like that paint color. Yeah. This is a great kitchen. Um, but you know, these handles, yeah. maybe not, maybe not the best. Now overall, like this looks gorgeous, but again, if you're, if you're going to go and have to replace these handles someday. And the reason why I bring that up is because, um, you it's the it's the easiest thing to replace and after a little bit of time you know you want to make a change you can't you know that that particular style goes out you know like think about back in the day when you had uh, brushed um not nickel but uh antique brass handles you had antique brass handles and the center was this oak you know mm -hmm. this oak piece that was very very popular and just it's just something that you know um just just went out of out of vogue so those are easy to replace because they were normally a three inch center, but these are, I don't know what these are offhand, but it's going to cause you a problem though. I like this kitchen to be honest with you. And let's look at the next one. Now this color I actually have in my bathroom. So my bathroom vanity, my daughter painted it. She was being a good daughter and she painted that for me. But I guarantee you, we would have had words if she liked this look so much that she put it in my bathroom without letting me know. And I had my hand, the drawers and, and, and doors like that. There would have been a fight. Yeah. I love the, the color contrast between those handles and the cabinets. But again, they're so big. Like you, you just, it's just definitely a look. I think it's a fad. I don't think it's going to, stay the course it's not going to be something that you know many people um really go for though like you said like they make them so they're trying to sell them and they can market them i mean this picture is obviously something that's professionally staged and it yeah. looks beautiful for a reason because hey i want you to buy these extra big handles and it's it's the next big thing so but you know and those ones aren't accessible at all because you can't get your hands in behind those they're they're like you know, you gotta, yeah, one of those that you have to kind of if you have inside. trouble with your hands. Yeah, here, Jason, good point. Um, mm -hmm. Jason's here. Hey, Jason. Uh, funny thing about those bigger handles, I price them uh, for that size over hundred dollars a handle compared to, yeah, that's the other thing. There's so much money, and and that's that's a really good point. Again, if you're just throwing money, you know, in the wind, and, and that's in the budget, I guess go for it. But uh, as a fad or as a trend. I think uh, that's not up to me, but I don't like them. Though I like I like that color, mm -hmm. and and yeah, I I do like the gold. And gold has become very popular again. Uh, looks beautiful on blue. It looks beautiful on black. Um, so it's a it's a definitely a especially the matted gold finish. Really really nice. But just get normal size handles. You know, just get three inch or. 96 mil or even 128 mil these are all like you know pretty good increments of size that you can easily replace down the road they don't look overpowering and especially like this one like not that one this one here like this is a, this looks like a beautiful kitchen with fridge door handles stuck on the cabinet <laughs> so. anyway all right let's go to the next one let's see what we got oh, let's go to the next picture by the way all right. Yes, the little button knobs. Now, what I was telling Mark was the button knob itself, like on a drawer, I'm kind of, you know, agnostic about that. Do that if you like. But you've got this nice big panel door. You've got the, you know, maybe it's like uh, shaker style or something like that. Um, and then you've got this little button knob on it why don't you just put a handle on there like why do you put the little knob on and and in insult to injury when you find it smack dab in the middle of the cabinet door like you know it's not even on the corner it's like in the middle of the door i don't know why people do that yeah i i'm, I'm not a fan me neither 
uh, I've mentioned it before on the channel. I'm not a fan of, of knobs. I just, I just like, I like handles. Mm -hmm. It's just what I like, you know, and, and these, not that these can't look nice. Of course they can. Um, but you know, just not, not, no, I'm, I'm just not a fan. Uh, this is a bad picture, but those ones I actually look a little nicer. Yes. Um, exactly. you know, so again, yeah. like there's so many of these out there. I, I see them again, like, you know, like jewelry, like you've got your earrings on, you know, for me, the, the hoop looks so much better than the stud, right? Why are you going to put it, you know, little bitty, you can't hardly see it. You've got that nice ear, like, you know, dress do it up. I, do I need bigger hoops? Is that what you're saying? Not for you, Mark. You've got a perfectly sized earring right, good. For, for you guys. I don't think Amy would like if I put the big hoops in. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> That, that could, well, we'll see. Hi, Amy. <laughs> hey, Rob, thanks for showing up tonight, buddy. Uh, Rob is another YouTuber with the guitar channel, uh, focusing on helping people uh, learn the guitar. And all right. uh, also my best friend for all my life. So mm -hmm. check him out. All right. So let's go on to the next one. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right. Okay. Let's get off the <laughs> earring topic. <laughs> I agree. Um, you know, so let, let put it in the comments. Um, are you like I, I I seen Jason? I think said something here. Let me just see if I can find it. Uh, do two handles when it's drawers. Um, you know, you you can you so you can do a great big long handle like we were just chatting about. You can do a knob. You can do two handles. Uh, what what is it? What's the best way to go? Or what do you have? Or what do you think it looks the nicest? Um, mm -hmm. Here, here's something here. What do we have? The small, those T knobs. Yeah, I, I know what those look like. And you love the look, black knobs on white uh, dove shaker cabinets. And that's the best kind of comment is that you love the look. And that's what really matters. Because, um, you know, everyone's going to be like, has their opinion. Like we're having tonight, but it's all with the, uh, it's all in good spirit. So uh, those look like a uh, dresser furniture knob. Yeah. In this particular style too, Jackie, like you've probably seen before, but it has that backing plate on it. And that was something that was just maybe older, but was very popular for a long, long time uh, with the little backing plate. The same as you can get a backing plate for uh, handles. Mm -hmm. And um, that's just not something we see a whole lot of anymore. Uh, but uh, that was very popular. That was definitely a, you know, a trend uh, back in the day. I don't know. Yeah. I think we, we talk about... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we talk about trends but I, I don't know i remember when i was just doing kitchens back in the 90s uh, early 2000s rather um no one really talked about trends like we do today we talk about them more but it, probably mm -hmm. because of youtube and all that stuff double dog dare me well we'll see what happens next week those knobs are probably a little bigger they look yeah oh square knobs let's talk about those what do you think about square knobs? I think the square looks nice. Actually, I have on my uh, drawers, I have knobs, but they're more of a, a, a rectangular with kind of a diamond pattern on them. Um, a, I can't say it's a pattern. It's like the way that they were cut. It's kind of a raised cross hatch. It looks nice. And it's, it you know, it, mm -hmm. again, it's like diamonds. That's the way I see it. You know, it's like, you know. Um, it, it really dresses up the cabinet, but it's not this little button thing. No, it, it makes a statement. So yeah, I like I like stuff that makes a statement. As long uh, I'm I'm okay with the square ones or the those rec like, like slightly you know rectangular ones. Mm -hmm. My only problem is if they're not installed perfectly and they're like they're they're tilted. Yeah. And you could say well you can just straighten them out, but a lot of them have this little um, like like pin in the back uh -huh. that when you tighten it, it like locks it into place. So it doesn't move so that uh -huh. it, it it's not going to get crooked. And I've seen it go bad where it just got installed, you know, crooked. And then once it's, it's. The, the pin is, is made that dent, right? Cause that's yeah. what I've got. I've got, and it's got the little like pin mark in there. And so once you've installed it, it like uh, burrows itself kind of into the wood right there. Yeah. And uh, I've yeah. got one, I've got five, five drawers in here and one is always tilted, you know, and I'll go and I'll straighten it back and then I'll come a couple days later and it's kind of off to the side again. So. 
and this is the thing, right? It's it's the same it's the <laughs> same idea that if you have uh, doors that that are just don't have any um, edge, like right. they're just square edged, which was a popular thing. If they're not lined up perfectly, it's it'll drive you bananas. <laughs> uh, because because they'll never be lined up perfectly because you're using them all the time so they move all the time um so if if you don't you know if you are going to have a problem with with that this probably isn't the way to go so the square handle um you know can look nice unless it's crooked all the time and <laughs> you gotta go fix it now some of them don't have that little it's not a divot but whatever it's called in the back that little pin but those can be an issue too because they they move easier so Six of one, half a dozen of the other. I have some squiggly handles that I would love to use one day. <laughs> they might be a trend. You never know. Squiggly handles. There's so many of them out there. I can imagine a squiggly handle. So what would it have? Like, you know, th three inch bar or whatever. Or, yeah. like, you know, and then the. Yeah, like there's, they're probably S shaped. Uh -huh. uh, you know, mm -hmm. I've seen them. I, I've seen them before. Mm -hmm. If that's the if that's the kind, Kelly, that you're talking about. But yeah. Hey, Joseph, just ask. Yeah. Hey, Joseph, thanks for coming on. Um, is gold timeless or is it a passing fad? What do you think, Jackie? No, I think it'll be around for a while. I mean, you know, people are always going to be looking. And and uh, last week we talked about mixing metals. You know, I think it's a good alternative. Uh, I think people like it. I certainly think it looks good in kitchens. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it'll be here for a while. Yeah, I, I agree. I think it's the new uh, brushed nickel. And brushed nickel was has been popular and the go-to for years. And the same as antique brass was the go-to for years before that. Uh, I think gold will be, or this brushed gold uh, will be the next, the next big thing. And it already is coming, coming, you know, it's already out there. I like this rubber band in the screw hole to help stabilize it. So it does not move. Ah, I love it. Kitchen hacks. That's what we're talking about too. Um, a lot of good ideas out there for kitchen hacks. Kelly, that sounds genius. I think I might try that. I'll yeah. report on it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I wish I could upload a picture. Uh, you could email me a picture. I can upload it. All right. We are going with gold clothes pull. Ooh. Like a cup pull, like a library pull. But a lot of other accessories are going to have different metals. That's cool. That sounds nice. Those um, closed poles, I think that's what you mean, those cup poles, you know, those library ones. You ever see those, Jackie? Yeah, Dewey Decimal System. You pull it out and there's a whole Rolodex of, yeah, cards in there. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> you just say the, the Dewey Decimal System? Yeah, you remember in the library, you go in the card catalog and you open it up and, you know, so... You don't remember? I didn't spend a lot of time in the library, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay, I think he just called me low-key a nerd. I think he said that, like, on the sly. But, no, you know, I, I, I called myself a slacker. <laughs> uh, it took me way too long to get my degree than it should have. So <laughs> I should have been in the library. <laughs> yeah. No, but, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I've seen those knobs, and uh, I think they're uh, they're pretty popular right now. People like those. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a look. I don't know how long they'll be. But again, like who doesn't matter. Like, you know, if you like it, you like it. And that's the whole point. So if they look nice, if they if they fit, and if you're into it, that's the main thing. I grew up with in antique brass era, so I'm glad. Yeah, I'm not a gold girl. Well, and that's that's why the the I, that's why I think anyway, I don't know. That's why. But the the brushed uh, chrome, the. The satin nickel finishes were so popular for so long because everyone was just sick of that that color, you know, similar to this antique brass knob that's on the screen. All right, let's go. Let's go to the next one. You getting some love, uh, Jack? Yeah, Bluebell remembers Bluebell nineteen twenty. You remember Dewey Decimal? You remember card catalog and all that? See, here we go. Thank you. <laughs> I gotta go. I'm gonna go to the library. <laughs> Uh, the library is going the way of the dinosaur. So you, bet, you better get in one quick if you want to see it because pretty soon you'll only be able to see them in museums. Really? Yeah. It's sad. What about those? Oh, sorry, Jason. Uh, no, kind of like a bar pole, but they're closed, not sticking out. I, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I know what you mean. 
I know what you mean. Like they don't stick out the the ends. They they're. Mm -hmm. I think that's what you. I think that's what you mean. What about those fingertip edge pulls that go on the top edge? Ah, uh, yeah. You just yeah. I. I can't say. I can't. What do you think, Jackie? What do you do? You like those? Well, I have to wonder why people are putting them in, and is is it because they want kind of the feel of a like you know no hardware door, but they want to have the hardware, so they put it in, you know. So I, I, that would be the only reason why I would put them in. Um, I don't necessarily like them, but I can see how that you know the function, how they serve a purpose. I guess I should say it that way. Yeah. Yeah, I think like you said earlier before on on something else there. Uh, like for me, I'm kind of agnostic on the issue on this one. I don't, don't, I don't really have a, a yes or no on, on them. I, I think they can look nice, uh, but I think you're right. Like if you're going for a handleless door, go for a handleless door. And, and in fact, a lot of, a lot of high-end custom cabinet manufacturers, um, you know, will, will make the door has its own handle built in. Right. Yeah. And, you know, and that gives you that, that look. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it gives that minimalist style. Yeah. It's a Euro style. So that's yeah. the thing, I guess it's definitely a style and it, it can look really nice. Um, and yeah, Jason's saying what we were, we we're saying. So that I think those look, those look beautiful, mm -hmm. especially with the mix mixed metal, I think go for it, especially if you antique your cabinet yourself with some sandpaper no, that'll that'll even make it look even better. <laughs> don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't do it. Uh, Trish is saying <laughs> Blum touch to open hardware. Um, so yeah, I, I like the touch to open, and IKEA has a lot of that as well. Uh, IKEA use Bloom hardware. They have their own line basically that they use for their their accessories like that, but. Um, I like the open hardware as long as it operates correctly. And I also like the Bloom um, servo drives where they electrically open, uh, but you can manually open them as well. Those are interesting. Those are, those are great for accessibility issues. And um, again, very, very pricey, but, but nice if you want that handleless look and you don't mm -hmm. want to like your cabinet door and having them come out like uh, Bloom has a nice, you know, you touch it, it, it comes out nicely. Really cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, what's this? Home Depot. I see a Home Depot has discontinued the push to open latches and hinges. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. That's good to know. Usually, be, depends on the on the hinge, but usually there's this like piston that gets attached, and like you, you push it in, and it's it's kind of it can get get kind of I don't know. It'll not work right after a while. All right. Okay, Alan's back for a second. Um, All right, so let's get the update. Supposed to start assembling cabinets tomorrow or Friday, plus one more supply chain snafu. The quartz we picked out is not available. <laughs> Bellatrex. Um, who is that through? The quartz is that Cambria or is it uh, Caesar Stone or or something else? You're getting close, Alan. You're getting close. I'll have the cake ready for next week. I'll, I'll have a piece of cake for your daughter and I'll have a piece of cake for Alan. There we go. We'd be, we'd be good. All right. So the touch, I seen something here about pricing. Yeah. Pricey. Yeah, they must be installed exactly. I've only only really ever done one job with, with these. They're very precise, but uh, they're very nice. But if it's, that's definitely not going to be in the budget. With Blum, would you, you get a lot of crazy fingerprints all over your cabinet faces? Probably. <laughs> Probably if you have that push that push thing. I and like Trisha's the, answer. <laughs> so I, I'm not going to be getting those. Because this would be a nightmare for me. Della Della Terra. Della Terra. I've heard of Della Terra. So, okay. Well, that's always the thing. There's always a snafu or two in the mix, right? Jackie, are you are you um, going to be doing any kitchen renovating at any time, or have you done any 
Yeah, I've got uh, on my channel, um, I did a renovation on a dime, actually, because I, you know, kept thinking I would find the perfect time and the perfect budget to finally renovate and get my dream kitchen. And I, I realized that after about eight, nine years in the house, it just was not happening. And so I thought, okay, I've got a small chunk of change. What can I do to at least make it look a little nicer? So um, you'll see on my channel, like, um, have, you know, uh, you know, DIY shaker style, you know, little things to make a big difference. And if, if I could show you guys the before picture of what my kitchen used to look like, it was so ridiculous. And, uh, it, the, the kitchen I'm, I have now, it's not a dream kitchen, but I, I can, I mean, tell you it's leaps and bounds above where it used to be. And, um, what I spent the money on was, the appliances, including Mark's very favorite over the range microwave <laughs> that saved me like at least 50 square feet of countertop space, Mark. I mean, the math works. Um, so I splurged on that. I splurged on this ceiling fan that I have in here and I bought, you know, mid range appliances. Um, so I kept my microwave, which was only about a year and a half, I mean, uh, microwave, my dishwasher, which was only about a year and a half old. And, you know, I, I went to Home Depot for um, a new range and uh, a stainless steel uh, refrigerator. But, you know, I kept the price around $6,000 and gave it a refresh. And one day I will hopefully um, just do a whole, you know, full on renovation, but I'll have a couple of more videos coming out on my kitchen to include, you know, I did a DIY backsplash video. I'm going to give an update on that. And what I learned about um, wood and kitchens and settling in the cold, because the, the winter time, it's wow. the first winter since I uh, put those uh, shaker uh, frames on my door and, you know, everything was all, you know, sealed and caulked and it was all all the seams were nice and then it got cold and everything <laughs> cracked and pulled apart and i had to go through and it was almost like doing it all over again so um i'll share my experience on that but yeah um that uh, i i did that uh may through july of last year i upgraded my kitchen and and, and you know i'm glad awesome that sounds great look jeff see See, I have a kindred, I have a kindred spirit here. Team Jackie, Team OTR, the Slimline, Whirlpool, over the range microwave. You can get it in black. You can get it in black stainless. You can get it in stainless. You can get it in white. You know, it's got all sorts of functionality. If I would sit here, I could sing the praises all day. I'm telling you, I could proselytize on this microwave and have everybody in here buying one because it's awesome, okay? It's much better than what I had before. I had this big dinosaur clunker sitting on my blue, it was a cobalt blue plasticky Formica countertop with this big dinosaur sitting on top of it. And now I have this slim, sleek, you know, space-saving, very functional, loves my family microwave. It hugs me every morning when I when I get up in the morning. It hugs me, actually. When I sit down to drink my coffee, it tells me, Jackie, you're beautiful and you're going to have a wonderful day. It's that kind of a microwave. You need to get one. I'm going to go get one, I guess. <laughs> There's no other option now. You totally sold me on this over the range microwave. Wow. I didn't even get there yet. Amazing. <laughs> well, you know what? You do you. <laughs> And we won't talk about it. Uh, <laughs> look, it's 75 today where Alan's at. How can he not get any better? Um, hey, let's see. Here. Here's one Jason's saying. There you go. Uh, see, I'm not alone and I'm sweetie. Ha ha. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Thank you. See? Is Matthew chiming in? What is it with what is going on here tonight? They're trying to help you to see the light. It's okay to admit <laughs> that you're wrong, Mark. It's okay. You can come over and join us. Join us. Come to our side. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness. Oh, see, Bluebell. See, I thought we were like this. You see? <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. You know what? Oh. Yeah, she's look, on look, your side there. Look, unbelievable. <laughs> My own, my own mother. My own mother. See? Do you believe this? <laughs> there we go. Now's my people. 
See, you see there, that's the comment he highlights right there. <laughs> I, I, I commented a bunch of yours. Like, like, like you know, it's like ten, 10, 10 for me and one for him. And he picks that one. <laughs> hey, Mavis, thanks for coming on. Uh, I did a refresh about. Oh, cool. Ooh. Nice. It's exciting. In renovating a kitchen, whether or not you put an OTR in is be is besides the point but it is very um exciting when you get to do a kitchen rental or like like you said jackie you, you had you know so much money to put into the project you made some changes that you know made a difference in your kitchen made an impact and that's really cool i'm sorry my cat wants to be in the conversation oh that's fine <laughs> um so so back to the otr i'm not, I'm not going to say another word <laughs> gonna, you know what <laughs> I was going to do another video about it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I'm going to have to do my video about it now. See, now we're going to have OTR video wars. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. I'm all for it. I think it's great. I, I love, I love the, I love the, uh, the banter. Um, and we all know why I don't like them. I just don't, I just don't like them. And I, and I put them in kitchens for a long time. And uh, when I see one, I just, I, I cringe. You but, wouldn't uh, cringe at mine. It would smile at you. Look at this. Here you go. Look. <laughs> KitchenAids is a, a better. It's better than the Whirlpool, and I wanted that. I just I, I could I couldn't. You know, it was it was a little pricier, and I couldn't go for it. But yes, love it. <laughs> yeah, there yeah. we go. The only microwaves. Okay. Well, you know, so we we don't agree on everything. <laughs> And that's the that, that's all good. <laughs> the salad spinner. There you go. Where's that? Oh yeah, what's the snow? Under the counter. That's a good idea. Yeah, Jackie, you mentioned that before. It's a, good, a great place to hide your chips up in where that vent is. Yeah, that's and right. I guess you know what? Here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say. If you're going to have a microwave over your range or any range hood over your range, make sure that it's vented outside. That's the big thing. <laughs> if it's not, it's not serving the purpose that it's supposed to be serving. So definitely like get it. Donald it. This is OTR, more like no TR. <laughs> you going to steal that one now too, Mark? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, we'll make the OTR fight go viral. <laughs> There hey, Stacy! Thanks for joining. Uh, it's great to have you on. Uh, really cool. It's it's uh, it's it's so cool, Jackie. Like, um, you know, people from all over the the place come in on the conversation, and you know, we all chat. It's really, really, it's really interesting. It's really cool. Uh, I, I just I didn't think you know when I started this, it would be so, like this. Especially these live streams are really enjoyable. I love them because because you know this right. It's mm -hmm. so much fun. We get to chat and, you know, you meet people and it's, it's so cool to see where people are tuning in from and, you know, and we're all, we're all the same. We all have opinions. We all either love our microwaves or we don't, but you know, it's really cool. 900 CFM. Wow. Uh -huh. That's going to pull your curtains off your wall. So you better have <laughs> some makeup air. I hope going into your, your kitchen space. Uh, okay. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, I agree. That's with why that. I have the Whirlpool Slimline. It's a compact microwave that gives you all the full full size microwave functionality without taking up as much space. All right. You see what Gammy just said? Hey. Gammy, Gammy gets the last word there. <laughs> all okay. Right. All right. All right. What are, what are we saying? Small appliance. I like small appliance cabinets to hide them. What do you think of those? Um. Look, for hiding small appliances, um, it depends on it depends on the cabinet and where it's at and how much you use it. Like I have small appliances that I use every single day, and they're just on my countertop because I use them so much. But like I keep a toaster in in a cabinet, so I guess it depends, Jason. Like Jackie, what do you think? You have do you have a lot of small appliances? Do you use a lot of small appliances? Um, I've got uh, yes, I've got quite a few. I've started giving the ones away that don't get, you know, at least, you know, pull them out once every two weeks or so. I'm like, it's not worth it for me. So, um, I've started giving away stuff. So I gave away my Wolfgang 
food processor last week. Um, but I, I have on my countertop my soda stream, my coffee maker, and usually up here, it's not up here now, is the Rotato. If you haven't heard of this, it is a potato peeler. Oh, so wow. my son, he has autism, but he loves French fries. So I make him do all the peeling and chopping. So I've got uh, a veggie chopper and I've got this Rotato so that he can peel the <laughs> it sits up there. So yeah, it's it's a, along with the other little appliances. Yeah. So if you don't I've have never, a Rotato. Get never heard of a Rotato. Well, you can use it also for peeling apples, for mm. peeling, you know, any kind of with a skin, a fruit or vegetable. It, so. Is it one that you, you crank? Nope. You, oh, okay. It's got like basically two spikes. So you kind of sit your potato yeah. on one spike you push down the other spike and then there's this little uh like a record player needle kind of if okay. you can imagine you press the button the bottom spike starts to rotate and that needle comes all the way down and pulls the skin off when it comes down it's pretty cool yeah um rose he used to be called the fry monster when he was little <laughs> that's true nice. <laughs> and you guys can't see the star off camera. Oh wow! She just insists on being here. So she's beautiful. She's an old girl. She's sixteen. Oh wow! Yeah, her brother was seventeen. He just died in September, but she'll be around a lot longer. Oh goodness! Let's see. All right, let's look at the next one, Jackie. Here, let's. We got a few more. What time is it? Oh, we got. We're going late, but that's okay. Let's time flies. Yeah, we're having fun. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Oh my gosh. When I see this, you know, I'm I, first like who puts this in their kitchen? Like, you know, the backsplash, like who would put that as a backsplash to me? It's like 1950s diner floor and you take it and you put it up on your wall. I, I just don't like it at all. A checkerboard look. It just is not, it's not working for me. Oh, there it is. There's more right. of it. You see, the fact that they've got multiple pictures of this means that it's a thing and somebody yeah. likes it somewhere. Yeah. So like I, I mentioned before, I did my kitchen, what I love <laughs> and hate about my kitchen video, and I'm going to be putting in some backsplash tile. I haven't decided on anything yet. Think this is something that I should go with or I think I should, uh, I should do yeah. this look, Jackie. Yeah, I, I would I would make that a hard no, Mark. Um, you know, especially if you want me to come visit, you know, if you want to keep me away, if you want Jackie of all trades repellent, put that in your kitchen, okay? I'll have to install a, an OTR. <laughs> you, you'll pull it out just for when I come to visit. I love Listen, OTR, I do. <laughs> this is quite the look. I have to agree. I, I'm not, I, I definitely won't be doing this. If you're into the checkered thing, I guess you're into the checkered thing. This this is a very interesting range top as well. It's like a hexagon <laughs> shape or something. So they got all the geometry things happening. The open shelf right there. <laughs> bathroom uh, floor. Who said bathroom floor? Bathroom floor. <laughs> In your kitchen. I love that. Yeah. So not, not, uh, yeah, the silver diner chain. There you go. I love this. Tile behind my range is against my religion. <laughs> that one is good, Robin. Loved it. Loved it. That rooster kills, right? <laughs> you know? And look, he's got a little girlfriend. <laughs> you know what? I don't even like it in a bathroom floor, to be honest with you. <laughs> Oh well, my goodness. So, um, Jackie, when you sent me your email, you you called these you called back splash towels. You, you said a particular thing. You want to tell me what you were talking about? I said it was kitschy. Kitschy, right? Yeah, and and Mark says he didn't know what the word kitschy means, and I'm just like, you know, kitschy is kind of, you know, it, it it's a trend followed by you know it, it, it's got its it's got its groupies, right? You know, these people who you know like it. Yeah, so that's that's kitschy. Yeah, so 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 I guess are the are those kitschy? Oh oh that that right there oh that's totally kitschy you know okay. um, but you know looking at it again with the fifties diner in my head I'm like well where is your you know you need your bench seating with your your booth you yeah. know they don't, have, they don't have the booth there with you know those antique salt and pepper shakers that that would make that would complete the look and look they even got it in the toe kick. Like who does? Hey, hold on, let me go back. Oh wow! <laughs> I was like, what 
that? That's called commitment. <laughs> Rose yeah. says it's uh, very kitschy. <laughs> Uh, the only thing I like is the horizontal doors. Yeah, I I have to agree. I like the horizontal doors as well. And I like that range hood. <laughs> oh, there we go, Miriam. We need a dinner bell, right? Ding. <laughs> All right, the last one. The last one. The last one. Let's go. And then we'll we'll call her a night here. Um, white on white on white on white. Can't stand the white on white on white on white. I'm just like, are you in a hospital room or are you in a kitchen? I mean, seriously, you know, do I have to wear scrubs to come into your kitchen? Do I have to have like bags on my hands when I walk in there? You know, what's up with that? <laughs> Too much. I mean, are you just being lazy? It's like, I don't want to think about anything. So I just make it all white or you know, it, does white equal clean? Maybe, you know, because maybe for some people that's it, you know, or maybe you get like a little touch of heaven, you know, you feel like you're like in the clouds or something like that, communing with God in this white kitchen. But, but like, I, I've been to a hospital. They don't look, <laughs> they don't look this nice. <laughs> I don't know what everyone talks about the hospital thing for. You know, super, it's super sanitized. Mm. But isn't that good? Isn't that a good thing? Well, no, it's, you know, no. you no. I mean, in literally, yes, it is a good thing. But the look is just too sterile. You know, it's like there's no life in here. There's no um, pop. You know, there's nothing that sets this apart. It's just like I'm white just to be white. And I like being white. And that's why I'm white. That's what it is. <laughs> Okay. I'm down with you on that. I, I have a white kitchen, obviously. And, um, and I, I like white, I like white kitchens, but you do need to have something that gives it some, some life. And I think that's the thing there has to be some element that, that, you know, gives it, gives it some kind of look or, or draws away. Like if everything's all white, though, I, I, I gotta say, Jackie, I like the all white kitchens, <laughs> you know, that's okay. You I know, like this white cubed, right. white cubed. Our, well, our previous I do like kitchen. the style here. I, I like that 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 whole look. You know, um, yeah. right, I, I like the look of it. I just think that they could have put something in there. You know, it looks like they're trying to pay some sort of homage to green in the background. Yeah, that's the but, wood. <laughs> you know, it looks like it's more of trying to bring color in from somewhere. So you're looking out the window and you see a tree and say, "Oh, look, there's right. color in here." <laughs> I, I bet though they have a slimline OTR microwave. You know they got one, and you know what color they have it in because it's available in white. White. <laughs> yeah, yeah. White everything might be too much. Our, our previous kitchen was white countertop, white backsplash, white cabinets, but we had an island that was a different color. Mm -hmm. um, The thing with white on white on white is that everything shows every speck of dirt and dust. Um, yeah, you know what though? They show on dark colors too. Yeah, and okay, so I guess if you got the Cheeto thing going. <laughs> Matthew, you're right, Rose, yes. <laughs> gotta, gotta get rid of those Cheetos. <laughs> they look unnatural for humans. There you go, you know. Might as well be in this white on white pot, you know. The problem in. with this live stream, Jackie, is I have to like re, like, I gotta <laughs> rethink my whole channel in life. Uh, now. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> uh, I'm pro white kitchen just because I think they look great, but I like all kinds of colors in the kitchen uh, mm -hmm. as well. So there's not just one way to do it. I am definitely not for OTR microwaves, unless they're for the right purpose. And Jackie, you said that you used yours because you needed to save, like that was a valuable space to save. And and for those reasons, like, I think it's valuable. It, otherwise, if you have room to put it somewhere else, I highly recommend that, but you know. I will say this. Oh. Now, looking back, I see that there may potentially have been another space I could have put it um on my peninsula because i went over to a neighbor's house and i've got the you know double blind corner cabinet right i've got one on one side of my u-shape and one on the other side but in 
in her house, my neighbor's house, who's got the same layout as me, we're in one of these townhome communities. Um, she actually closed off the cabinet um, from the inside of the uh, inside the cabinet, and so from the inside of your U shape, you know, it's just the sink there and the uh, uh, dishwasher on the right side. But around the other side of the peninsula, she actually made that into a bookshelf. She carved it out and made a bookshelf there. And I'm like, that's a perfect use of that space. Cause she's like, I was never able to access it. You have to get on your knees and like lunge in the back, which is what I do. That's why nothing's back there. It's like a void of a space. And mm. I can see like carving a hole there, putting on a shelf of some sort. And it would be better if I could get something that's like drawer style, but I could even have a door there. I could see like a pull, you know, a door that swings out. You know, because it's just wasted space over there. I could definitely put a microwave there and uh, not even miss, you know, it doesn't take away from anything else to have one there. So, but, you know, when I redesign with all that windfall of money that is eventually going to come to me, I'm, I'm going to change where I put it. But for now, me and uh, Whirlpool, we're in love. Okay. And this love is real. And when I saw him and he saw me, we knew it was like this. And we've been together ever since. And you are not going to break us up. Okay. I'm not trying to. I, I'm letting you do the talking here. So <laughs> thanks, Megan, for coming on tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Karen loves my white kitchen. That's the thing. Um, normally there is, you know, if there, if there isn't a, a space for it, if that is the best place, it's the best place. You know, I'm not taking that away from it. My biggest thing is make sure it's vented. That's, that's my big thing with a microwave over a range is that they don't get vented because mm -hmm. uh, you can put them, you know, in anywhere or a range hood for that matter. So, yeah. So you have two blind corners. Wow. Do you have uh, any kind of like pull out system? No, I'm going to actually start doing my research on that um, because actually I was watching uh, one of your videos earlier today and you started talking about, um, you know, simple upgrades that you can make. And I, I really have places where I could put drawers that would be much more functional than what I have going on right now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and also the, uh, the drawer rail systems need some work. One of them squeaks really bad right now. Okay. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. lots of good, I mean, there's some, some good accessories you can buy. <laughs> I had to put that up there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Rose. <laughs> All right. Well, we had fun tonight. Um, a lot of bad kitchen trends, or maybe they're good kitchen trends. We don't know. We're just talking. I just figure, you know, it'd be, it'd be fun to talk about kitchen trends and and uh, something we can all relate to, something we all have opinions about, something we all love, something we all don't love. And, uh, and uh, yeah, that's cool. Really, really great. So, so that, that's, that's the end of our list. Um, we had a great time. If you're watching the replay at this point, you you've hopefully went through. I'll, I'll put some uh, chapters in the video description so that you can kind of click through. And and we're just really having a good time, just kind of chatting and bantering a little bit about all these different things, going through the comments. So uh, for those of you who are on the live stream, you know this is really just for us. Um, you know, just to chat and hang out, and and that's the the real pleasure of of, of doing this whole thing. But a, but a huge thank you to you, Jackie, for being on tonight. Um, you know, it's really great. I know you're very busy, lots of stuff happening in your life right now with your daughter getting married and, you know, things are busy. So to take the time to come and do this is really, really appreciated. And hopefully we can have you on again at some point in the future and we'll, we'll continue our, um, our duel. <laughs> OCR, maybe. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate being invited on tonight. It was really my pleasure and my honor. And I'm uh, glad to finally uh, get to talk to you in person, actually, because I feel like we're old friends, you know, even yeah. though real friends of mine would like the microwave. OK, I'm done with that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I would love to come on again at some other time. <laughs> some other time. I don't know if I'm going to get another invite if I keep pushing this microwave thing. I don't know. But <laughs> uh, real friends. Our real friends are going to are going to tell you the truth. <laughs> and I do in full disclosure have those people in my life who I know they're you know whether I want to hear it or not they're going to give it to me and I appreciate them. So yeah, I appreciate you Mark I just think you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I accept completely. No, but thank you. Thank you. It's been great. Thank you for having me tonight. Yeah. So listen, everyone, go to Jackie's channel. Um, if you haven't already, uh, watch her videos, subscribe, uh, comment, say hi to her, and, and just join in her her community over there on her channel. Um, this is it's you know especially check out her video because you did a, a a video that I really enjoyed on your ceiling fan. Um, yeah, <laughs> which I you know I'm not a fan of ceiling fans in any <laughs> room, but this one was really nice. Right. And you did a great job in your video talking about it. So. Uh, keep up the great work, Jackie. Thanks so much for, for coming on. And, um, you know, hopefully we can do this again in the future. It's been great. So everyone, thank you for watching. We will see you uh, next Wednesday night. If you're on the live stream, this, uh, uh, here's my little girl. Hey, come on up and say hi before I go. You got a cat? I got a dog. <laughs> okay. So, hey buddy. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so everyone, thanks again for watching. We really appreciate it, Jackie. Uh, awesome to have you on. Just stay on. Just when I end it, just stay on for a second. We'll we'll uh, okay. we'll chat for a second just to say uh, uh, we, we we won't we'll have a private fight about the OTR. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that other YouTubey stuff. But uh, just thanks for joining the, the conversation tonight, everyone. Appreciate you uh, commenting. And if I missed somebody or you know didn't get to your comment, it's uh, my apologies to. Uh, we get through as many, many as we can, and uh, I really appreciate everyone. So, all right, until the next time. This Saturday, my video is about uh, what's my video about this week? I should know. Oh, it's just um, how to make your kitchen um, as functional as possible. Something to do with function. Jackie, you're going to love it. I know I will. Yeah. I don't talk about the OTR at all. Well, I need some therapy on the other thing. So, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for kitchen therapy. Yeah. <laughs> well, this was cool. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. We'll see you All soon. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you.